me show you how to operate this thing. Four cylinder, 22 horsepower. 22 horsepower, okay. No water pump, no fuel pump. Do you want to start it by crank? Yeah. Huh? Do you? Wow, how hard is it to crank? <laughs> it's not hard at all. Okay, let's do it. Spoiler alert, I lied. Jesus. Don't be afraid of it, son. It appears Matt is having a problem with his crank. I hear that happens sometimes. Another gin and tonic? Just one. Give, give it a good, give it a good. <laughs> All right, this is getting ridiculous. Isn't there a pill for this? Let's just give it a good pull. Put it and give it a good pull straight up. Ready? Yeah. Hey, there you go. <laughs> well, here we go, Ollie. doesn't ride bad, huh? This is great. I, I really like it. Huh? You really have to get along with the person you're riding with, though. Right, yeah, you gotta, I yeah. feel like we're pretty close. You can't be really having an argument. This side of my body's a little cold, but this side, yeah, you're yeah. keeping me nice and warm. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah, you can't fight uh, in a car like that. <laughs> no. What do you think? You ready to give it a shot? You want to try it? Yeah, I'll try it. All right. <laughs> Famous last words. Matt and I spent enough time talking about the Model T, so after a lightning quick tutorial, I think Matt is about ready to take over. That's great. Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, once you get the hang of it, it's pretty yeah. simple. And it's like a lawnmower slash tractor. Well, you know, you got slash... 22 horsepower, which isn't very much. So you've got to use each one of those horses efficiently to make it work. Yeah. Uh, that's what's kind of fun about it. When you get it all dialed in, to get the hang yeah, of you it. Yeah, you can kind of, you can Like a one-man band. <laughs> the biggest advance is really is not in the power, because cars have always been pretty quick. It's in braking and handling. Sure. I mean, just to get this thing to slow down, it's a huge deal. Yeah, make a reservation. Yeah, exactly. Dog gun these farmers anyhow. See, this is like a modern sissy road. Yeah. Let's put you on a on a road typical of the day, and you'll see how you do. Yeah, well, now Anybody that... can drive on tarmac. Yeah, now that I've had about four minutes to get the hang of it. That's right. That's an eternity. I feel like we're going to bury a dead body or something. No, this is the kind of dogs Ted Bundy used to meet girls, isn't it? Really? Yeah. How would you know that so just, right on the tip of I your just tongue? Know that. <laughs> well, what's the dog's name? Uh, this is Beanbag. Beanbag. Hey, Beanbag. This is Cowboy. This dog weighs about 50 pounds. Uh, yeah, this one's lighter if you want to switch. No, this one's all right. This is Harry. I'm going to do an overhaul on these dogs. Going to put a new engine in one of them. So you're like his first big celebrity client. Am I? Yeah, That's sure. so sad. What is your reason for wanting one of these? Jay, I'm uh, going through a midlife crisis. I'm coming to terms with the fact that I'm no longer a young man. Right. And this makes it seem like I'm not for about two minutes. You've never taken that off-roading, have you? I've never been off-road ever in my life. Really? Ever. All right, let's, let's give it a shot. You guys ready? That's ready, yeah. Welcome to Jay Leno's garage, everyone. This is not a garage. It's a, more of a gatehouse. Right. That's right. Oh, sorry. OK, I love sorry. any car where the beer cans fall out as soon as it's, they open the door. It's sparkling water, OK? It's not beer. That's way too caloric. Well, the funny thing is, you're only 25 miles from LA. But look, where there's nobody here, it sounds like you're going to murder me. That's right, Joel. Out here, no one can hear you scream. <laughs> so either that or a really bad Tinder date. Right now, we're crushing a lot of tumbleweeds, which right, right. makes me feel pretty manly. Well, it gives them speed. Oh, yeah. Here we go. OK. Oh, hey, a yeah. first off-road bump. Look at that. Woo! I Gunning. think I just broke the car. Oh, there you go. Is it broken? No, I can take it. Look at that. Now you can. That's the off-roading experience. There we go. Two middle-aged comedians killed while driving restored truck. And we'll Probably. put the, the title card up at the end. You know how you do that. Joel McRae. Joel McRae? McHale. Oh, McHale. McRae oh, died that's years that's ago. Right. <laughs> that's right. Did I say Joel McRae? You ready to do this? I'm ready to do this. May the best Italian win. Much like my opponent, 
The rules are simple. Once we hit the water, the first person to the buoy wins. You can cut the tension here with a knife. I can almost taste his fear. It's go time. Well, they may be tough, but I'm pretty sure a sick dog could swim faster than this thing. You want to help someone else and give them a ride let's in this do car? It. Yeah, right. let's do it. Because see, this, this will help you, and it'll help me. I'm excited to take this baby out for a spin, but I bet there's very little that excites a tough guy like Danny. Uh, I got Jay Leno riding around my I'm car. I'm here. <laughs> this is what I do on a Saturday. <laughs> this is my day. Yeah. Because when you cruise around with one of the most intimidating people on the planet, people tend to keep their distance. He's from Macoimo, too. <laughs> so you and your son both into cars? Yeah. After I found out the prognosis, I told him, I said, damn it, now I'm going to probably never see one of those little 2020 Corvettes on the street. And he pulled some strings, and that took a chunk out of my heart. Have you been in many Corvettes? I had a couple buddies with Corvettes. Yeah, yeah. Well, you and I are the first non-GM people to be in this car. We called GM, and they gave us special permission to take you for a spin and do the whole deal. That's awesome. I'm not they gave us permission to do this. But they won't know until it airs, so. Hey. You know, this is my old stomping ground. I know. Tell me about it. Well, that's why I chose this, because when we spoke, you told me you used to come here as a kid. Yeah. Well, you want to go for a drive? Yeah. Let's do it. I'm ready. Hop in. All right. So does this ride a lot different than yours? If we were in my Defender right now, we right. would be bouncing all over the place. Right. It'd be loud. There's no shock absorption. There's no smooth ride, but it's fun. It, it feels like driving a Tonka truck. Right, right. And this is like driving a really, really nice couch with four-wheel drive and a fat engine, and it's great. Let's do a shampoo commercial. Oh, we're here at the beach. Shall we? <laughs> now, that's one way to clean it. There you go. Look at that. Now, excuse us. I think Sophia and I need to run this thing through the wash <laughs> just a few more times. <laughs> Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you'll find videos from all your favorite CNBC shows. Be sure to subscribe by clicking right here. Click on the videos around me and watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.